Hey guys, in this video, similar to my last video, we are going to be looking at timers in Accelerator Titanium. However, in this video, we are going to be looking at the JavaScript set timeout method. Now, set timeout method is similar to the set interval method in the sense that you uh, choose a time and you choose what code you want to run. However, the set timeout method, I'm going to quickly, no, there's not much point writing it. Uh, I guess there is. It's set the set timeout method. Set time out basically has two parts. We have a code here, and then we have a space, and then we also have a time. So the set timeout method basically obtain uh, time before code executes. You write the code inside, and then you write the time, the delay in milliseconds you want before the code executes. So that is set time out. It's like a countdown thing. So, I don't know, you have a time, you say like 5,000 milliseconds or uh, five seconds and you want the text to display bang or you want like an explosion image or something so that you have this like, uh, what do you call it? Five second delay before the bomb goes out or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to delete this and start fresh. Well, technically not because I actually remember to write my window before uh, starting my recording so that I don't waste space, uh, don't waste too much time. So after that, I am going to create a label. Oh, by the way, the window is basically in the normal window with a background color of white. So the text for my uh, win, uh, not window, my label is going to be top the not bottom, button. Yep, I got confused a bit there. Uh, width is going to be 150. The height is going to be 50. Same as the last video. Top is going to be 80. Exactly the same. And the text align is set to center. Okay. And next, I'm going to be creating a button. Tie dot UI dot create button. I don't know why you keep on getting that P. Title is going to be click me to change, mm, no, change the text. That'll do. And height is going to be 50, width is going to be 120. And I'm going to be about, set, set it to be about 40 pixels on the bottom. So I want the label to be at the top and the button to be at the bottom. Uh, the penultimate thing I'm going to do is create an event listener for my button. So my button dot add event listener, and we are going to be listening to the click. And for our callback function, function I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, blah blah blah. There we go. Um, come on, I'm screwing things up. Yep, that's fine. Okay. For our callback function, we are going to be creating an if statement again. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what do you call it? So what I want to do with this app is basically I want a button and I want a text. And when I click on a button, a few seconds later, I want my text to change. And that is going to be done using my set timeout. Now I'm going to be creating a quick if event if statement. Uh, come on, like so and there's not going to be anything else because if this isn't true I, I don't want my uh, code inside to run or I don't want my button to do anything so if this dot fired is true but if this dot fired is not true I want this to execute code the reason why I'm doing this is to prevent uh, multiple fires of the timeout. So I don't want my if statement to repeatedly uh, execute. I only want this to be done once. So basically this dot fired is going to be by default set to false. However, once this code execute, this dot fired is going to be true. Therefore, in my next loop of my uh, execution of my code, this if statement is going to be false because uh, this dot fired is going to be true and this dot fired isn't true is going to be false okay so inside here we are going to be uh, writing a bit of code and I am going to give it some space there we go yep 
uh, I'm going to say for T, which I sometimes you use when I'm working with times, T for time, and X or I for numbers, var T equals set timeout. And I'm going to create a function like uh, what I did in my uh, set time interval, set interval. And over here is going to be the time. Oops, time. Okay, and inside here, we are going to say label.text equals the text change. Oh my god. And what else do I want? And oh yeah, don't forget to say clear in clear interval t t for set timeout, which is over here. And uh, t equals no, exactly the same as what we did in my previous video. Uh, this is in order to prevent any uh, memory memory leakage. Uh, and that is a huge problem when you are creating apps more than for uh, computers because uh, smartphones tend to have lower RAM than computers. Okay, and I am going to set this time to be 3000 milliseconds or three uh, three seconds. And lastly, what I'm going to do is say this dot fired equals true. Yep. Therefore, uh, in my next turn, this will be false, so all this code won't run. And that's about it. Don't forget the same code at the end. And then, last thing I'm going to do is uh, add my window, to, add my label to my window, and add my button. Yep, to my window, and window open. Okay, so I am going to uh, save my app.js and run my iPhone simulator. Okay, so my app has loaded. We have a label which says tap the button and we have a button which says change the text. If I click on this uh, button, this button.add event listener is going to uh, execute and uh, we have this set timeout method which will change my text to the text change, oh my god, with a three seconds delay. So I'm going to press it now. Three, two, one. There we go, the text changed, oh my god. So uh, that was a quick video on uh, using the set timeout method in JavaScript to create timers for Absolator Titanium apps for your uh, iPhone Android apps. This is also useful, I'm not going to talk about the hundreds, thousands, I don't know, billion uses you can uh, do with it or uses of it. I'm just going to stop my video now because I don't I think the video has gone for long enough. Yep, eight minutes, okay. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do the usual like, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you wanna do, it really helps. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.